What's up, Dennis here, Analog Archives. I'm back. Um, like I said, I'm trying to do more videos. Try to do like one a week if possible. Um, obviously, sometimes I'm not going to, but um, anyways, enough about that. Um, going back to this one, I have a little bit of extra time at work now, so um, I'm coming up with ideas and writing down records and stuff I want to talk about. So I'm going back to a series I did, I think I did this one in 2020, way back when I kind of first started, and uh, it's called, Let's Have a Beer and Talk Thrash Metal. <laughs> I think it, the first one was actually called, Let's Have a Beer and Talk Classic Thrash Metal, which this is too, um, but I think the first one I did was more like mainstream bands than I did one that had a little bit a little bit different stuff in it and then I did some underrated ones and then I did a video with uh, with Damien with second tier thrash now I'm gonna do this one it is let's have a beer talk third tier thrash metal most of these are gonna be OG cassette tapes um, Back when I used to buy a lot of thrash, like tapes were super cheap, and I bought a lot of these used for super cheap, dollar or two, because nobody cared about cassettes. Um, so I was able to just pick up tons of shit, and then other stuff I just got at full price when it came out because I wanted to hear what it sounded like. Obviously, um, let's get the beer out of the way. What we have here is incredible pulp blood orange IPA from Boneyard Beer and this is these guys were in Bend Oregon I believe yeah Bend Oregon so I just bought this um, looks really good I like the graphics on the front pretty nice it's got like a Hulk monster smashing an orange tastes good it's good if you like citrus uh, hazies and stuff like that, this is good. Good stuff. All right, what we are spinning right now is the uh, Krabathor Cool Mortification. I don't know if that's the right way to pronounce it. Krabathor. Krabathor. These guys look cool. Dude just got a mop of hair back there. Fuck yeah. Uh, these dudes are from the Czech Republic. I think this came out in like 92 or something like that. I don't know. It's on a weird label. I had their other album too. The one with like the fucking gladiator skull dude on the front. I can't remember what that one's badass. Good band. I, these dudes did. This This album's more like a brutal thrash mixed with death metal especially vocal wise. Uh, but uh, Czech Republic and the they did go on to be a death metal band. I know they went full full on death after this album. I think I could be wrong. Could be another different album where they went off. Uh, but I remember seeing another album they had, and I I think I bought it. Had like a I want to say it had like a cannibal or not a cannibal, but like a skull like bones on the front. It reminded me of Cannibal Holocaust is what I'm trying to say. Um, the cover and that was pure death metal all right so third tier thrash metal what does that mean to me uh, these are bands that are so you have bands I would say first tier obviously the big four testament slayer exodus all those bands I consider first tier um, and then second tier would be more like uh, getting into like creator destruction stuff something you would see a guy wearing like a like a fucking Metallica shirt, and you'd be like, what's up, dude? Do you like this Pleasure to Kill album? And you'd be like, oh, I, I mean, I heard a creator, but I never heard of So that would be, that's my basis for second tier. Like bands like Whiplash, you, you could check out my video I did on second tier. I know a lot of people were like, these are first tier bands. And I'm like, I mean, <laughs> yeah, for like people that listen to fucking thrash, they're first tier bands, but not for like, dabblers I would say people that like oh I like thrash metal I like Metallica and Anthrax oh yeah you like Whiplash and they're like I've never heard of them so that's my 
That's how I rank these bands as first, second, and third tier. Now, third tier, what we're going to get to is basically bands after Creator. So you already heard Creator, and just, I'm just using Creator as an example. Um, so after those kinds of bands, like Sodom and bands like that, you have... Um, so bands that would be like... You really like those bands and want to hear more of it. Um, so you'd branch out to these bands, which would... These bands kind of came out, some of them mostly after all these big name bands came out. So, all right. <sighs> Enough of me babbling about the third tier. Let's get into it. The first one, a couple of these, I mean... I don't know if this band's super noted, notable as far as people knowing who they are. Obviously, in your, if you're in Australia, you know Hobbs, Angel of Death. And this is their first cassette. They did come out with a second and third album. I think the third album came out, you know, not so long ago, like 2019 or so. Which, it was decent. The second album was pretty badass. Nobody talks about that. The second record, which is really good. I think I got to pull that out. I should have pulled it out for this, but... I wanted to talk about this album because I love this album. I got this when I was a kid, and I remember I bought it. This I did not buy it the first time I saw the cassette because of this horrible cover. And I'm like, hey, why is there a guy on the front? Like, like put some art. Like, this isn't going to end the guy's name. And I'm like, mm, I'm not going to get this. And then time went on, and eventually there was nothing else to buy, so... I grabbed this, and this is, fuck, I'm glad I did, man. Um, really good produced, super brutal thrash um, from 80, I wrote down the dates here, 88. Um, and it does, it's, it's brutal, but it has, uh, it's very, like, well done, I would say. Very well done is where a lot of, like, some other bands... It's very professional, that's what I want to say. And I, I could hear similarities to Slaughter Lord. Um, I'm not just saying that because they're from Australia too, but I could hear that. I can hear the Slaughter Lord in there. I can hear Slayer for sure. Um, and then just, I would say mostly like German thrash stuff, like the more brutal stuff, like Protector or something like that. I, I wouldn't even compare them to that. I'm just saying it's more along a brutal line of uh, thrash metal. So, yeah, fuck, man. This is badass. Check this out if you haven't. Uh, and I know people are put off by that cover. I was. So, but uh, check this one out. If you like, and it's really, it's a really good record. Really catchy songs. Um, up next, we have Grinder, And this is Nothing is Sacred. And this one is from 91. A lot of these are going to be from 91. So I think this was kind of like a last-ditch effort of thrash, so that's why I would, a lot of these albums are like lesser known. I really love this cover with the axe on the porch. Really good art. And these guys are more along the lines, I would say, of a New York style. Maybe like a some anthrax, but with some technical stuff too. Um, some Bay Area, definitely some Bay Area. And I'm only saying anthrax. Not on the music, but on the uh, vocals. I hear some Belladonna in there. It definitely, the, it's in the higher pitch, whereas the Hobbs is, you know, it's a gruffer, you know, like the like more Tom Araya, Rain and Blood type style. Ooh, this has more of a uh, professional, like metal singer voice to it, which uh, it was kind of a weird camp, I guess, in, for thrash metal. You'd have your singers, your growlers, and then your in-between guys that did kind of both. Um, but this is definitely really good barrier influence, fucking ripping speed thrash. Grinder. Nothing is sacred. 91. Check it out. Up next, and those guys are from Germany, sorry. Uh, up next, next. Ha! See what I did there? Yeah, next, and this is Invasion Nuclear. So I guess Nuclear Invasion. All the lyrics are in Spanish. Let me take this out. A lot of these are going to have glare on them. So yeah, there you go. 
These dudes are from Mexico, and this is from 88. Really good shit. I got this from... I just got this recently from Nuclear War. I guess he found a bunch of... Uh, he got a bunch of tapes from Mexico. OG presses. These were all sealed. I got another one. I got a couple other things from, from him, too. Um, so, I don't know if they still have any. I think... I bought, I don't know if they had more than one, honestly, but yeah, ripping fucking old school fucking thrash dude from 88. Uh, you could hear like Show No Mercy stuff in there, some Possessed, Sepultura, you could definitely hear like schizophrenia type shit. Um, vocals are just kind of in between, has a decent voice, I would say more along the lines of like a... Show No Mercy style or something like that. But if you like old school thrash type shit, check that out. Yeah, his vocals are kind of like a mix of like Tom Reyes and Max Cavalera, but his old old vocal style. And uh, everything's in Spanish, but fucking, that's a ripper, dude. Hella badass. Glad I got it. Um, up next we have... Damn. Damn! And these dudes were from the UK, I believe, right? Yeah, 91. Oh, man, this is good, man. Not a lot of people heard this. Um, it's kind of a mix. I think, like, a lot of those bands that were coming out, like Damn, um, Acid Rain, uh, who else was there? Reanimator. Those bands all came out, like, kind of at the same time. UK Thrash Invasion. But, yeah, um, kind of a mix between uh, Barrier Thrash. Um, I can hear Slayer in there. Some Again, some more Anthrax stuff. The vocals, again, more higher pitch vocals on that one. Um, and I don't, I don't mean to say Anthrax on all of them. I just used it as a comparison because that was, like, the, you know, your main band doing higher vocals at the time. Um, but yeah, really good, really good, uh, traditional thrash metal, uh, really fast, fucking, just a banger, man, check it out, damn, I don't know what it stands for, damn, 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 good times reference, <laughs> alright, up next, oh, I'm gonna skip this one, I wanna wait, that's gonna be my, uh, last one, so I got requests for some eccentrics, so I'm throwing some eccentrics. I was going to pull the first one too, but I'll just keep it with this one for now. Uh, this is for whose advantage? Man, this is a fucking banger, dude. If you guys haven't heard eccentrics, check them out. Um, if you like really good produced thrash metal, I mean, this is like, to me, it's Metallica quality, honestly. Um, and it does have some definite and justice. His vocals too. He almost sounds like Hetfield in some parts, and the, but then other parts he sounds like Chuck Billy. Um, it's a total mix of Metallica and Testament, I would say. But the music, I don't think, sounds like Metallica. It sounds definitely more like Barry inspired stuff like Testament and Exodus and those bands. Um, so, yeah, if you... Just really quality thrash metal. Um, easy really easy um to put this top tier as far as like production they must have spent a pretty penny on this as far as the production goes and i don't know what label it's on it is oh it's on road racer but uh yeah this and shattered existence check out shattered existence too um i like both of them i think the songs are a little bit better arranged on this but i i like both albums almost the same and they're not that much different as far as quality goes i would say this one's like a little bit more professional whereas the first one's more thrashy and not thrashy but more in your face it's more brutal it's faster uh, but both of them are great albums but check this one out for sure really great quality musicianship fucking sick shit um and i said these guys are from the uk right uh, from 80, 1990. First one's from 89. Check them out. Check both of them out. Alright. Up next. These dudes are from the United States. And it's Kublai Khan. 
with Annihilation, and this was on New Renaissance Records. Um, speaking of, if anybody wants to do a New Renaissance Records deep dive, please get in touch. Let's do one, man. I w really want to do a deep dive on New Renaissance Records uh, and the compilations. We don't have to do the compilations, but I'd like to do just a nuclear, or, I mean, sorry, New Renaissance Records compilation um, video, too. So many great bands on those comps. But anyways, which Kubla Khan were on one of the comps as well. Um, X Megadeth guitarist on here. And I just read something funny about this. Is uh, I guess Dave Mustaine said that, and I don't remember the guy's name that plays guitar on this, but he said, yeah, he's a really good guitarist, but he didn't have the hair to be in Megadeth. <laughs> he basically got kicked out for not having the great enough hair, I guess. But this album fucking shreds, dude. Total Barrier Thrash. Um, that guitarist, dude, he fucking shreds it on this, dude. He fucking shreds it, man. Um, if you like guitar shit, like really good guitar playing, and fucking nasty, sick fucking riffs, check this out. Um, Total Metallica Barrier, fucking Exodus, Testament type shit, but with a different kind of production, like darker, um, killer vocals. Everything on this is badass, dude. Super underrated fucking record. Check it out, man. Kublai Khan, Annihilation. And not these guys from the U.S. on... From 86. That came out in 86. So it was... Came out during the heyday of Thrash, and still nobody fucking bought it, but that cover kind of sucks. And their big claim to fame was ex-Megadeth guitarist, which, who cares? Um, but anyways, up next we have... Dioxin from Canada. These dudes were cool. Uh, I really like the art on that. I like that little face getting shredded. Or it's like a mutant face. Here's like the inside has like pretty cool Canada. Here's the band members. So yeah, man. Technical thrash, I would say. From '89 from Canada. Whoo, man, this shit this fucking rips, man. Dioxin. Um, first Among Equals. Probably kind of a little bit of a harder tape to find. I think it's on Active Records. or Yeah, it's on Active. I think it's a little bit of a harder record to find, for sure. Um, not a lot of people I know even know what this is. Uh, but if you like bands like Toxic, it's like t kind of like Toxic and... Um, Watchtower, I gave some Watchtower in there too. So kind of like those bands, technical thrash, progress, a little bit progressive, but it, it still bangs, dude. It's still fast. It's not like a wimpy album. Uh, vocals are on the higher side, but not as annoying as like the guy in Toxic. Uh, he doesn't like try too hard. I feel like the guy in Toxic is like trying to like scream his fucking nuts off in every fucking verse. Uh, but yeah, so check this out. Dioxin. If you like fast technical thrash, really well produced too. Alright, up next, we got a brutal one. Toxic Shock. Let me take that out. And this is Between Good and Evil. I think this was 91, 92. And these dudes are from Germany. Yeah, man. Fucking brutal as fuck, man. Super brutal, gr gruff vocals, uh, brutal thrash. They had some previous albums, which I, I'll talk about in a different video, which are more um, like regular German thrash or more Bay Area influence. But this one uh, has more death vocals. If you band, like bands like Incubus and uh, Protector, um, this album from Toxic Shock, check it out. Uh, really good fucking banger, man. If you want to hear something brutal. I got a few brutal albums right now. Uh, up next, another one. Fuck, really good that no one talks about. And uh, this is Baphomet. And not the Baphomet from New York. This is Baphomet from Germany. And I believe this was 91. Yeah, 91. Um, for fans of, again, Protector. Um... 
you know, possessed, creator, slayer, destruction. It has gruff, gruff vocals too. Like, it kind of sounds weird. He sounds almost like a Muppet character. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean to put you off on it. Only on some parts. And I was like, what the? It sounds a little odd. And then he changes his vocal from to a higher pitch tone. Really good stuff, though. I really enjoy this album. Really slick guitar solos on this. Um, fucking check it out. Baffle me, man. Uh, no Answers from Germany, 92. 91? 91, Germany. Up next. Oh, man, this is a good album. I was just jamming this the other day. This is Living Sacrifice, their self-titled album. Um, this was on Rex Records, and what year was this? These dudes are from the U.S. And 91, again, 91. To me, this this album is like, so these guys are Christian. I don't know. I can hear anything um, audible in the lyrics that like shout out Christianity or anything, or religion in general. But um, like Incubus, they are... Um, religious I guess they're Christian I'm pretty sure um, but this is like a band that like wanted to it was like for kids that couldn't listen to Slayer like they, <laughs> their parents were like you can't listen to that devil music and then they brought this home and they're like now what Ugh, fucking Christian living sacrifice sounds exactly like fucking rain and blood but it's Christian lyrics um so yeah, man, check this out. I don't know, the lyrics are whatever. I don't give a shit. Um, but check this fucking, this is a banger, dude. Super banger that no one talks about again. Um, total Slayer worship. Total fucking Slayer worship. These dudes did go on to um, be a metalcore band, I believe. Uh, but not on this. I think their first two albums were thrash. Maybe the second one might be a little bit more death metal. And they had some industrial stuff, which is on one of my favorite industrial comps by uh, Circle of Dust. They did a few songs on there on the Metamorphosis record. But check that one out. Uh, all right. Here's another band from the UK. Toranaga. Man, this is really good. Really good fucking thrash. Um mix of German and Barrier stuff. Really good vocalist. Not too high. Not, he's in between. Um, really in your face. Super fucking amazing production. Like this band, you could tell this was like set out to make some money. And they were super promoted too. I remember Metal Forces. I have a like a little flexi that Metal Forces gave away for this record. And they were always, they would always talk about the UK bands though. So, um, 1990. Just a ripper of a fucking thrash record. Definitely check it out. Super professional. I mean, for a third tier band, it's funny how these guys, like, nobody cared. I mean, it was 1990, man. It's 1990. Nobody cares about thrash metal in 1990. Everybody's listening to death metal. It's like, nobody wants to hear new thrash metal. Uh, but anyways, next up, I've got a couple albums here. The first one is another band from Germany. This is Darkness with Death Squad. Fucking banger of a record. This was on ANS Records, kind of a small record label. But fucking badass German thrash from 87 that everybody should fucking listen to if you like Sodom and Destruction and Creator. Um, I mean, there's not much more to say. If you like those bands, you're definitely going to love this. Super harsh production, harsh vocals, just fucking, like, this is thrash metal, man. Check this out, Darkness Death Squad, if you haven't. Such a great record. Um, I got these, I got both Darkness albums, um, and I'll do, I'll probably do the next one in another video. Um, Defenders of Justice, their second album, which is also really good. Um, but, uh, that one, that's a ripper, dude. Uh, up next, Acrophae, 
Corrupt Minds. These guys put out two really good albums. I really like this one. I like the second one too, um, but this one is a little bit faster. Um, has some crossover elements to it. You can see a guy wearing the Minor Threat shirt there, so you know. Um, but kind of a mix between crossover and like Slayer, I would say. Um, I love that art. Look at those guys. <laughs> That's a cop over there. What's up, S.A.? You like my Uzi painting? Is that a painting of an Uzi on the wall, or is that just a floating Uzi? I'm not sure. Then, you, of course, you got the Christians, and, and then the uh, drug cartel. Some cocaine down here. Um, yeah, fucking amazing shit. Check this out. Uh, Acrofe from 88. These dudes were from Wisconsin. Yeah, so there's nothing to do in Wisconsin but to make fucking thrash metal. <laughs> no... It's kind of odd, too, in 88, like that shit coming out. Uh, another German band, and this is not... Everything else was OG press, even... Well, I mean Polish boots, but it's still old from the 90s when they came out. But uh, Violent Force, this is not an OG. This is uh, the repress on uh, High Roller. And I think it's on, like, Red. It's on Red. Comes uh, High Roller does really nice pressings. Sound is really good too. I don't know if they get theirs from the original masters, but um, I can say that High Roller does a great job at um, doing re-releases. They put a, in like a full-blown poster. Um, always have like some colored vinyl or some dumb shit like that. But yeah, fucking really good. Uh, again, Destruction, um, Sodom, that kind of stuff really good fast fucking brutal i love the dudes and these dudes were in a movie too i can't remember the name of the movie right now um but they played in a movie it's pretty cool i'll just see if i can find it and put a link to it it's on youtube for free i watched it it's like a gang movie in germany with kids really good shit um all right and last but not least i'm gonna do this at the end called dennis's pick so this is the pick that all you guys need to check out um, and this is Dissection. No, not Dissection. From... <laughs> not that Dissection. These dark, This is Dissection from Canada. Um, and this was on Fringe. So, same label that put out, um, Sacrifice and Razor. Look at these dudes. Yeah. You know it's going to be fucking brutal as fuck. Super brutal fucking Canadian thrash, man. Really good. Heavy. Um, you can hear elements. I don't want to say Sacrifice, um, but the first Sacrifice album, uh, Slaughter. Uh, and this was 88, I believe. 89. 87. Um, you can hear Dark Angel in there. Um, and then, like I said, you have those uh, German bands as well. But Dissection from Canada, nobody, nobody ever talks about this shit. And I love that cover with the guy with the fucking chainsaw. Let me take this out again. The guy with the chainsaw on the back. And, oh, for the longest time when I was a kid, I thought it was a hedge clipper because it's so long. I'm like, what is that, a hedge clipper? No, it's, it's supposed to be a chainsaw. But check this out, and their logo sick with the dissection and the two chainsaws. Final genocide, brutal fucking ripping thrash shit. Uh, that's Dennis's pick. Let's see, analog archives approved third tier thrash metal pick. I mean, this could technically be fourth tier, but I'm not gonna get that far into it. Um, I don't want anything past third tier is whatever. I'm just gonna consider everything third tier after second. All right, man. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate the views and uh, coming back. I got some some stuff. Like I said, I got like two more videos in the works that I am working on. So stay tuned. I'll try to do. I probably won't do one next week. I might. Um, I am going to see Motley Crue in San Francisco. If anybody else is going, let me know. I'll see you there. All right. Later.